Hi everyone, this is Debbie Arnold with Dining with Debbie and today we're going to make one of the easiest soups that you can possibly put together. It's a cold, damp day today and I have a really busy day like so many of you and um, so I needed to get something going and that I'll have ready for um, uh, both my husband and myself because he has an extremely busy day today too. So anyway, uh, it uses a lot of ingredients that I have left over, which is a good thing. I'm on a quest to use up the items in my pantry and my freezer uh, and try to stay out of the grocery store as much as I can right now. But uh, anyway, I'm going to tell you the ingredients and then I'll tell you how to put it all together. First of all, you're going to need uh, some vegetable or olive oil. Uh, canola oil is fine too. You're going to need some cumin seed. Uh, you're going to need uh, some oregano. I like to use this chipotle chili pepper, uh, ground pepper. If you just have regular chili pepper, that'll work too. Or uh, even some ancho chili powder will work. Some ground cumin. Um, a large cube of uh, chicken bouillon. Two cans of Rotel, uh, tomatoes and green peppers. Now I'm using the Mexican variety this time. Sometimes I'll use hot, sometimes I'll use the regular. Uh, even though we like it hot, it can be get pretty spicy if you use two cans in the soup. So I recommend the Mexican. And I don't often do this, but I have on hand some cream of chicken soup and some cream of mushroom soup, and we're going to use those. And uh, we need a box, a 32 ounce box of chicken broth or chicken stock. This is not typically the brand that I would use, but it's going to work well in this soup. Uh, it happens to be what was available. You need a one clove of garlic. And I am using today, because it's in my freezer, a package of Pick Sweet Seasoning Blend. I keep this stuff in my freezer all the time and it just comes in handy. I use it all the time when I make, oh, um, lots of soups for one thing. But I use it in chicken pot pie a lot and other things like that too. And uh, it just saves you from having to chop those things up. If you have an onion and a bell pepper, chop those up. It's one onion and one bell pepper chopped. And then I have some leftover chicken. Leftover turkey would work well in this too. Uh, I think I got this idea uh, from Southern Living some time ago probably. Uh, and I, it flavors or mimics King Ranch chicken if you've ever had that casserole. So that's what we call it, King Ranch chicken soup. And that may have been what Southern Living called it too. But anyway, all right, I'll have the complete recipe and the list of ingredients on uh, at the end of this video for you as well. Okay, um, so we're going to start, and, and I'm using the Instant Pot today. It's not an Instant Pot recipe necessarily, but I'm going to be using the slow cooker uh, version or uh, part of this, uh, the Instant Pot. We're going to start by sauteing on medium heat the uh, seasoning blend and the cumin. I really like to, whenever I use cumin seed, I really like to toast it because it just brings out so much more of the flavor on it. So I'm going to add in some, it's probably about oh, a tablespoon or two of the oil to the bottom of the slow cooker or instant pot. Uh, you can make this in a Dutch oven on, countertop, on the stove top if you prefer. All right, I'm going to sprinkle in about a half to three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin seed. And you can tell immediately when it's starting to toast because you'll smell it. Um, if you don't happen to have cumin seed, that's okay. I do think it really makes a difference in the flavor. You'll have the cumin that you'll use a little bit later too. All right, so we're letting that toast and then we're going to add in our pig sweet seasoning blend which is onions and celery and uh, bell peppers. And um, I'm sorry, starting to get the fragrance of that cumin seed and stir it around a little bit here. And then I'm gonna add in the seasoning blend. I'll let that saute for about a minute. I love the smell of it. And then I'm going to add in a clove of garlic. All right, you probably have seen me do this before, but this is the way I peel the garlic when I'm using just a clove. 
if you've not seen the way I do a lot of garlic, how I peel a lot of garlic, uh, I do have a video on preserving garlic that you can watch. It's so, such an easy way to do it. And I had an abundant uh, garlic, garlic harvest. I can't talk today, uh, this year. So I've, I've done a lot of that. All right, I'm going to mince this up. I wish you could smell the onion and the cumin already in the pot. We love soups at our house. Uh, I'm fortunate. I have a husband who eats just about everything. Um, he doesn't complain about much of anything at all. I guess it took him 30 years to tell me he didn't like mushrooms, but and I used to put mushrooms in everything. Uh, but he's come around to some of that too. And uh, so I, I try to you know, I try to observe the fact that there may be a couple of things that he does not care for, but he's really good about eating anything. He's certainly really good about eating leftovers, and that's a good thing at our house. All right, so we have been sauteing our onion mixture. I want to get that just a little bit more. Um, you, you can use, if you have five cups of chicken stock already homemade or on hand, go ahead and use that. I don't like to open a whole box just for a cup of chicken stock so that's why i'm using the chicken bouillon so i'll use a cup of water and add this chicken bouillon to the soup uh, after i've added in that water okay i'm going to add in our garlic got to be careful with garlic and not let it burn i do have the instant pot on medium high heat at this point even that you have to watch okay so, what kind of soups do you like? I have a wide variety of soups on my blog. If you uh, have a chance and want to go look at those, it's diningwithdebbie.net. Uh, like I said, we are big soup eaters at our house, uh, and it's prob probably a week doesn't go by that I don't make some kind of soup to have on hand, especially during fall and winter months too, but even in the summer I do. Okay, now we're going to add in our seasonings, and it's a teaspoon of each, a teaspoon of oregano, and I know from experience that this little cup in my hand right here is a teaspoon. If you want to measure it out, please feel free to do so. All right, before you add in any uh, herb or any uh, spice, take that and rub it around and release the oils that are in those and it will bring out the flavor so much better. Okay, so that's our oregano. And that, this was oregano leaves, by the way. You could use ground oregano if you want to. Uh, you might alter the amount just a little bit. All right, and a teaspoon of the chipotle chili pepper. And be careful with that. If you're sensitive, uh, sensitive to spice or heat, you may want to decrease that just a little bit. We're spicy people at this house. And I love this stuff. If you've not ever used it before, it's uh, just ground chipotle chili pepper. And a teaspoon of the cumin. I use lots of cumin in my house. Some people don't like the flavor of it. I know. All right. Got that. If you do buy your um, spices in bulk, I suggest you keep them in the freezer. Um, otherwise, they'll get too old unless you do a whole lot of major cooking. Uh, they'll lose their flavor. So. All right, getting all those stirred up. Now we're going to add in our chicken broth. Uh, the amount of chicken I have is probably equal to mm, almost a whole chicken. It's just a... Uh, it's about a quart size bag that I had it shredded up in the freezer. You can have this ready in no time. It can be ready in, you know, less than 30 minutes, certainly, if you needed it to be. I'm just going to put it on low on um, the slow cooker and let it just not sit and simmer all day until we get ready for it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and drop in the chicken bouillon and need to add in a cup of water. Sorry about that. Sorry about my 
phone going off over there too. All right, now we're gonna add in our tomatoes and chili peppers. That's two cans. And then in our soups. One thing that uh, you're going to add right at the end, too, is um, tortilla strips. If you don't have tortilla strips, you can use some crushed up fritos or tortilla chips. Um, that just adds that kind of authentic Mexican flavor to it, I think. If you don't have those, it's not the end of the world. It does add a little bit of extra. I use um, crushed up tortilla chips and crushed up or crushed up fritos in my chili. This is kind of a thickener. And here again, if you don't have a can of mushroom soup and you have two cans of chicken, uh, cream of chicken soup, use that. This is a very flexible soup. I'm going to stir that up. Now I'm going to let that simmer for a little while before I add in my chicken because the chicken is already cooked. It doesn't need to sit there and cook all day. Let that get really uh, nice and hot and then put in the chicken and the tortilla strips or the fritos, crushed up fritos, whatever I happen to have on hand. And then we'll plate this up and it will be a bowl full of deliciousness. Again, uh, this is Debbie Arnold with DiningWithDebbie.net and we are making up a big old pot of what we're gonna call King Ranch Chicken today. Thanks for joining me.